on the mountain tops of the highest glaciers, on the place where earth and sky do meet. Water turns into earth. Clean, ice blue earth. Free of all what happened and what was. It's the place where all souls do sleep. The cold of the endless sky clears all the expectation of the future and the memories of the past. When the warm golden light sent by the sun strikes the ice, it will get nourished with the colors of the rainbow, sent through this empty, shapeless universe. Crystal clear, complete. To all the magic people, to all the peaceful warriors. Future is long gone and already in the past. So you don't have to worry what will happen and what was. Open up, open up, open up. That's what happens. Dance With Us is a movie I created with my friend Ashley Wiggins this April and May. It's about the paradise surrounding us here in Innsbruck and yeah, about community, friendship and playfulness in the mountains. It all started actually when I was scrolling through Instagram and gave this filmer a like and I just wrote him and he checked my profile back and seen that I'm a Jones rider and he was like, are you a Jones rider? And I'm like, yes, I'm a Jones rider. And he was like, oh my God, I got so inspired by the movies of Jeremy. And I always wanted to make a snowboard movie. And yeah, here we are making a snowboard movie. Dance with us turned out that it's not just only a snowboard movie. It's like way more. It's an acro yoga movie, a yoga movie. Others would call it spiritual. For me, it's more a movie about the connection with Mother Earth, which is nourishing us. It's art. It's getting to be in tune with music and with the culture around you. It's about having fun, playing, and just exploring your backyard. On day one, we went to Nordkette, the jewel of the Alps, and celebrated our motto, Rockstar meets Yogi. And I got up to have a lekar. Nobody else really skiing the Gulwars at this day. And we've been waiting till the, till the cold snow turned into slush. And we had the chance to ride this amazing line just on the really far right which normally isn't possible because of uh, low snow winters. At the top of Havre Car, we kind of created our own space there. Like we had such a good time doing acro yoga and enjoying the view of Innsbruck that we totally forget that there is other people around us. And we just continued and danced like dance to the tunes of the wind and, and dance with acro yoga and yeah this was it and suddenly other people turned in they opened up and that's with us there was this friend of ashley who got married on the same day and i've met him already once in the gondola i thought oh my god what a smart looking guy and I'm fully dressed up in like winter clothes, like was kind of 
a funny contrast. For me, this is something really beautiful because at the end, like the connection of men and women is creation. And this is a day worth celebrated and doing it in the surrounding, you just love what can be more amazing. The celebration party of the wedding was also the last day of the Skyline Park. And it was really cool because we got right with music and we just started to dance down there again. And we met like a lot of people we know, but also new people and we started to connect each other. It's nice when you are able to swap from your cool ass snowboard gear to a pretty dress and dance. On day two, it was Kati, my roommate, uh, Sarah and me, and we've just had like a girly day out. It was having fun, playing around, getting up with the first gondola, which Ashley organized for us, enjoying the golden sunlight, and then just like hitting the slopes, getting straight lines, walking to top of Tyrol, and enjoying the beauty. <laughs> Over the past years, we are seeing more dramatic weather events. Um, temperature is rising due to climate change. In the Austrian Alps, we have already plus two degrees, which is the average level which we shouldn't get over at the global level. We do have it already because the, uh, the Alps are really, really sensitive. And we are seeing just really dry summers and like it was now wet winters but this is causing really hazards for the environment it's causing more avalanches we had a lot of wet slides this winter for example in january which are just normally usual for april we've been having mudslides and uh, mountains falling down and one of these mountains which felt was in Vals. It's like a really small town up at the Brenner. And we visit this to, to just show how big Mother Nature is. What we have to remember is that we are just like that small compared to Mother Nature. And she can crush us with a blink of the eye. And all we have to do is like take care about her and be good to her and getting in tune with her again. Don't destroy her. Just go along and dance with her. the four-star qualifying Obergurgo at my first time when I experienced this. When I was in the line, it was like really foggy conditions. I could decide for going left, the safe line, or going right. I make one turn too fast, the slough came and hit me, and all I could see was my board moving, and around five meters below me, a rock where I was falling onto. And at the end, I just had like a open face, a broken hand, I have like two kind of tattoos and yeah, a lesson learned. After I asked myself why am I still alive and then I realized I'm still on a mission. The day before on the contest I actually signed for Protector Winters which became the big purpose of my life in the last three years. But I always thought before I'm 
can really call out that I'm the head of a climate change organization. I have to start it myself and be the change what I want to see in the world. So in the last three years, I changed my life. What it means to me was like, I've really been always asking myself how I can live simpler. Do I really need this or that? Or how I do grow and eat my food? And last year I got caught by an avalanche and all I could do is like watching the flowers grow. But this made me now to a really happy person because like I have a garden. After snowboarding, when I come home from Schlick or Stuba Glacier and I drive down the highway, I always get my Tyrolean fast food. There is a self-service store called Anhof and they are open from zero to 24 o'clock and they have everything what I need. This store for me really leads by example. It's showing so much trust to the community and it utilizes the resources what we have in the local areas. At our third day filming, we went to Obernberger See in the afternoon and it was really scenic, but super traumatic. Like Mother Nature just showed the power. It was really nice touring up and we decided just to stay at one place and do acro yoga there again. We were really cold and so we decided what to do and we just wanted to have a little bit of fun actually and we invented split skiing. It's the new favorite sports and we had like the first international tournament and we've been riding down with our split boards and yeah we had no bales the whole filming so there was this situation where I felt like yeah shit we need something funny, we need a bell. So I had this GoPro fusion in my hand and I was riding past Ashley and just on a gr green melted bit and I just really tumbled. <laughs> Split skiing rocks. <laughs> After those days, we wanted to go back where everything started and Yes, we both, me and Ashley, have big projects to deal with and we're sitting a lot in front of the computer or on our smartphones dealing with the fast world of social media. But for us both, it's just so important to also go out and connect and dance. So what could be more logic as going to Tanteme again? Who knows me a little bit? I love to be a peaceful warrior. And we had like these other eight peaceful warriors coming along and we got it all UV paint. And Sarah, she's an amazing hula hoop girl, uh, was dancing in the dark back room. So we had our private party starting at eight and getting all Naturzu. <laughs> Natural high.
I want this movie to inspire mountain locals to explore their backyard and tell their backyard story. Dance with us is about positive change, not just only with the environment or with everything collectively. It's about dance with yourself as well. Because just if you are getting your own power, you'll be able to dance with your partners. We also made this movie to inspire females and realize their big dreams. If they want to see the Northern Light, they should kick their ass and go and see the Northern Light. If they want to ride this Northern Line, go and train and ride this Northern Line. If you just want to chill at home with your friend on the bonfire, why not doing it? But also on the other hand, you want to become the CEO from a business or a climate change organization? <laughs> Do it. Like, just do it. Don't be afraid. It doesn't matter if you're male or female or anything in between, where you come from or who you are. It's about being positive with yourself, with everyone around you and with Mother Nature. It's about going out there and having fun. So open up and dance with us.